All right, we are going to be ordering numbers. So when we have three or four numbers together, we want to put them in order from either least to greatest or greatest to least. So it's really important that you read those directions before you do that because you can get them all wrong because you have them backwards. The other thing we're going to be doing is just comparing two numbers. So we're going to start there, okay? Comparing two numbers. And they're going to be pretty big numbers, but I'm going to teach you some tricks and stuff to help you with that, okay? So the first one's been pretty easy. Let's just start with this. If I had, and you guys do not have to write this down, 52,196, and we're going to compare that to, let's go with 51,299. And whenever you see a space like this, you're going to want to use these mouths. Okay? Obviously, the open mouth wants to what? Eat the greater number, okay? So what we want to do is use one of these symbols in this blank spot to compare these two numbers. All right, the way you do this is, is pretty simple, all right? You want to start all the way to the left of the numbers because the further you go left in the number, the greater the place value that you get. Remember, obviously, 100 is greater than... 90. Okay, even though that 9 is a bigger number, that doesn't, I'm sorry, that 9 is a bigger digit, that does not mean that it's a bigger value or number than that 1, because that's not a 1, that is a 100. And obviously 100 is greater than 90. So you want to go all the way to the left and start here on both numbers. Now my first checkpoint is that this is what place value? Does anybody know? The ten thousands, good. They're both in the ten thousands. So that's the first thing you want to check, obviously. All right. Now this is a five and this is a five. They're the same. So what I want you to do is literally cross them out if they are the same. And then where do you think I should look next? To the thousands place. Because that is the next greater value. Okay. So now I'm going to look at my twos. And at my one, now I have a difference. So what's bigger, 2,000 or 1,000? 2, the 2,000. You want to eat up that number, and you're done. OK? So start all the way to the left. Compare the, uh, the greatest digit value, and then cross them out if they're the same. You might get a, an answer right away, and then you're done. OK? So I want you to write up one of these symbols on your board this next problem, okay? Let's try this one. Go ahead and write a mouth. Sometimes it might be even easier if you rewrite the numbers. Alright, go ahead and show me in three, two, one. Good. Very nice. You all had this. But I have a question for you. This four, I mean, last time I checked, four is smaller than nine. So I think it's this. So you guys are all wrong, sorry, okay? Because nine is clearly bigger than four, right? Right? I mean, nine is bigger than four. So I mean, clearly 999 has got to be bigger than 4,000, right? Whoa, you guys are shaking your head, what's wrong with that? I mean, four is bigger than nine. Last time I checked, I mean, that's like kindergarten. Right? One, two, three, four. Right? We're good with this. We're good with 900 being bigger? Are we good with that on a test? We're good with that? What? 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 So what? This is a four and this is a nine. Nine's bigger. What's wrong with that, Isaac? What's wrong with my thinking here? Oh, that's right. Good job. Place value. Place value, place value. 
So what, you're telling me that all that face value stuff we've been talking about actually means something? Oh yeah, yeah it does. Alright, 4,000. Obviously any thousands are going to be bigger than a hundred. So it doesn't matter if you see all nines and all ones, right? 1,000 is still going to be bigger than any 900 you can come up with. So you guys need to be careful on that as well. They're going to try to trick you. Make sure that they all, they both sides have the same amount of place value. All right, and that's why you always want to look at the biggest place value. So don't be afraid to stick by your first answer. Okay, you guys were right. I was wrong. You should have said no way, Mr. R. You got a lot of fun doing something wrong. Okay. All right, last one, and this is the last part of your assignment, is when you have to order several numbers from least to greatest or from greatest to least. But we're going to start with least to greatest. So what does least mean? Like the lowest. The lowest. So you want to list the smallest value first. So I'm going to write three numbers up on the board, and I want you to put them in an order on your board from least to greatest. Let's go with these. them in order from the least to greatest. So think least, Francis. Least. Okay, once you're good, you can show me. You can get papers right above your head. You can get out of here. Okay, papers right above your over there on the cart. You can get out of here. Please, guys, go ahead and put your whiteboards away. Make sure the markers are capped and put them upside down in the bin, okay? And Lee, you're good, too.